I've been taking another digital illustration course online and I'm back with new intel coming directly from one of the masters themselves and I'm about to spill a lot of beans. Good day everybody. As I've mentioned a few times this year already, I'm dedicating a lot of time this year to improve on my artistic skills. And so far, I've used mainly a mix of looking closely, very closely, at other artists' works and taking some art courses online to do so. I've taken some courses on Closo, a course platform where you can learn the best from the best, as the motto goes. They are also the sponsors of today's video, by the way. Thank you very much. <laughs> the courses are presented by leading experts in the industry. So on Coloso, you'll be taught by artists who have real life experience working in the industry. And this time I took the five steps to master the core principles of light and coloring by Gatan. So buckle up guys, because you're about to learn some seriously sweet tips. Gatan is an established Korean concept artist who is currently working as a freelance artist and art teacher. Gatan tells how she used to struggle a lot with coloring and then came up with a five-step coloring process, a systematic approach that simplified the process for her and that she's now fully mastering and teaching to others. In this course, Gatan teaches her five-step coloring process in detail, but not only that, she also teaches some great fundamentals leading up to the coloring process, like 3D drawing techniques, how to create poses from different angles, how to add dynamics, how to draw hair, how to paint clothes. You even get a crash course in anatomy. Gatan uses Photoshop in this course, but you can follow along even if you use Procreate or Clip Studio Paint or, well, basically any other drawing app that has layers and a few brushes. The course is in Korean, but it has English subtitles and all the text on the screen is translated as well. The course is listed as basic difficulty, but you don't have to be super experienced to be able to follow along, as long as you have some experience drawing digitally and you're not completely struggling with the fundamentals, I'd say this course is for you. Speaking as someone with many years of experience in digital art, I still found this course incredibly useful and inspiring. So I'm very happy to be able to share my favorite takeaways from Gatan's course with you guys. So the way that Gatan approaches coloring is just as much about lighting as the colors themselves. Gatan doesn't start with one or the other, but instead she does both at the same time. One of the keys to Gatan's coloring technique is how she uses basic shapes to determine where to put her shadows. She'll explain how you take a full character illustration and teach yourself to recognize basic shapes so that you can easier figure out where to put your shadows and highlights to get a more believable shading. She also mentions that if colors and light at the same time is a bit too much for you to handle at first, you should start by just practicing light in grayscale by using the same principles of breaking down your illustration into basic shapes and not worry about colors at all. She'll even give you some great advice and real-time demonstrations on how to study light, especially on clothing, which many find hard to tackle, myself included. Gatan also explains some basic color theory like the three elements of light, but what I found even more interesting is how she shows how she delicately chooses her shadow and highlight colors based on the tone and saturation of her base colors. For example, when she uses a warm, saturated base color, the shadows are often cooler and less saturated. And if her base color is cooler and a bit desaturated, she uses warmer, saturated tones for her shadows. It mixes up a bit depending on her specific drawing, because the light source itself might have a color, which she also takes into account when coloring. In general, Gatan focuses more on the contrast between the warm and the cool colors, rather than the contrast in different hues. Everything Gatan teaches in the course helps simplifying the understanding of the five-step coloring process. You kind of get bits and pieces of the five steps throughout the entire course and she then ends the course with a long real-time demonstration where she combines all the knowledge from the course into one single illustration. The famous five steps that she teaches are 1. Base colors and cell shaded style shading 2. Adding the midtones, which is the blend between the shadow and the base color, also called the terminator three details in the shadow areas, four details in the light areas, and lastly five finishing touches such as highlights, bounce light, backlight, texture and whatever else you want to add. And allow me to show you one of the secrets to Gatan's process. 
It's this color right here. Well, not this specific red color, but the color transition between the shadow and the base color, which if you remember is called the terminator. Not the color, but the transition itself. In some areas, you can add an additional color at the terminator to get a much more polished and believable result. There are a few rules though as to where you can put them and what colors to pick for it, but Gatan talks about it a lot early on and throughout the entire course. And while we're talking about the Terminator and this mid-tone, there are some shadows that are not supposed to be blended. Some shadow must remain sharp, which is often the shadows that are being cast from other objects, but of course Gatan also demonstrates this in her course. While we're at shadows, another great little tip that I picked up from her course is how to determine the length of your shadows. Gatan's rule of thumb is to let the shadows closest to the light source only take up approximately one third of the shape, while the shadows of those furthest away from the light source take up half or more of the shape, if not the entire shape. Basically, remember to adjust the length of your shadows according to the distance of the light source. She also acknowledges that one of the things her art students often struggle with is not knowing which colors to pick for their shadows. You'll discover that Katan actually improvises a bit and you'll hear her sharing her thoughts when picking the colors, but she also has this great little rule of thumb that her students can use. Basically, the shadow color lies approximately between one third and one half of a range from the base colors. So to explain visually, if you have the entire color window here, and this is your base color, the shadow color will typically lie somewhere in this range. In this course, you'll also learn how to pick colors to avoid getting that burned look on your shading, how to color hair, which is one of my favorite parts, how to color two different kinds of stylization, and what different light sources are common to use in an illustration. There's so much knowledge in this course, I can't possibly sum it all up in this short video. I learned so much from Katan while taking this course. My coloring process has never been coherent because I experiment so much, which in itself is good, but it also sometimes leads to a lot of struggling. So it has actually been really inspiring to watch Katan work and learn her process in detail. Obviously it's going to take some practice to get to her level, but I learned a lot from her that I'll take with me and incorporate in my own style and workflow from now on. For example, I also really like how she structures her layers. Basically all base layers has each their own layer and each step in the process has its own layer clipping down to the color space layer. So to give a visual example, a full illustration may look like this in the layers panel. I even try to mimic the way that she creates base layers where you end up hiding your sketch or line art completely by the end, which was a totally new approach for me, but I think the result is pretty good. This is a 36 hour course and it might seem like a long course for some of you, especially if you're used to using a platform like YouTube to learn from, but taking longer and more focused courses give you the opportunity to dig deeper into specific topics and very importantly, watch someone as skilled as Gatan work close up and in real time, which in my opinion is some of the most valuable lessons that you'll have on your journey. And I wholeheartedly recommend Gatan's course on Coloso to everyone who wants to color amazingly like Gatan does. So if you want to take Gatan's course yourself or one of the many other courses on Coloso, I have a coupon for you amazing people so that you can get a discount on your next course. You're welcome. <laughs> The coupon and the details can be found below, and if you want to take Gatan's course like I did, please use my unique link in the description below, that way you'll also support my channel. Thanks so much to Coloso for this opportunity for me to once again improve on my art and for making this video possible so I can share these tips with you guys. And thanks a lot to you guys of course who are still out there watching right now. Mwah! I love you. <laughs> Until next time guys, take care. Bye!